Hi, um, I'm Nan Ali, I'm a senior D365 technical consultant from DataJack Consulting. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how we can manage security in Dynamics 365 FinOps via using Power Apps Canvas application. So let's start. Hi, <clears throat> managing security in Dynamics 365 can be done via two uh, complementary methods. Um, the first one, if we are uh, a functional consultant or we have um, um, a functional background or we are a system administrator, we can use directly security configuration um, form in D365 FinOps application, which can help us to create easily uh, via the user interface and your security role, security duty, um, security privilege, and then assign the security role to a system user. So this is the first method. The second one is if we are a technical consultant, an X++ developer, or we have um, a sufficient technical background, um, we can access um, to Visual Studio and access to the EOT to, to create and manage new security objects or use add-ins um, uh, for each form, for example, or via Dynamics 365 um, uh, menu in Visual Studio to view related roles for all duties, view related objects and licenses for all roles. So we, for me, I believe this two approach or these two methods have to work in parallel uh, to help us create, manage, and modify security objects in D365 finals. So this is the first point. The second point is, is the agility fine of security model in D365. Um, for me, when I say um, fine ops, I think always about a new way of financial management solution uh, that have to adopt a model based on integration of cloud solution in a part and in another part um, have to um, use a model that plays all members of the organization project in the context of continuous sharing of financial information through daily real-time reports, for example, via automated resources and fast and efficient feedback loops. So this centralization of teams around a business process and financial operations in, in, in a challenging cloud environment cannot really be successful if we are not really making security at the heart of this model and push security to play uh, an important role in governance and defined controls for the use uh, of the cloud for each user in the system. So that's why always I believe that uh, choosing the right security implementation strategy at the enterprise level is essential really to, to have an adapted control to different business scenarios, uh, processes through the definition of a global security policy, a clear security roadmap uh, that cover all roles, permissions, user identities, uh, defining the different um, SOD uh, conflict rules in, in the system, data and the underlying infrastructure associated to each user in the system. So this is the second point. The last point is um, development agility and the, the possibility to uh, extend the Dynamics 365 FinOps solution by using, for example, data entities. Um, one of the most things that I love in, always in the 365 FinOps application is the concept, for example, of data entities. And it's great capability to uh, provide a single stack that capture business logic into one single unit, uh, well exposed and summarized easily in a denormalized view. And one of the scenarios um, to use data entities in FinOps is um, they can help, uh, help us to externalize data and make them available and synchronize it to other applications uh, or even other technological stack solution different, than, different to, to, to Microsoft technologies through, for example, uh, the use of uh, Power Apps FinOps data connection. So let's start in this video. Um, I will show you um, the, the Power Apps application and in which level can this data entities call a table in Power Apps can help us really to 
manage security users, for example, to um, see or check um, different security objects. So the first thing, let me start by the first option, view user roles. Um, here in this form, I can easily say I'm externalizing or getting all the system users as they come from the data entity, con data connector, uh, the data finops connector. Uh, for example, let me select Christina user, uh, system user, and still loading. So Christina have to um, have three um, security uh, role associated to to her um, to her user. Um, let me select another one. For example, Paul Cannon. Paul Cannon is still loading. It's take some time to load the data. So Paul have two security role. Okay, let's go back to the home screen. Um, another option is uh, view role duties association. So in Power Apps, uh, by using the FinOps data connector, uh, there is a, a connector that, uh, sorry, a table that can help us to uh, see or check or view um, all the role duties association. So we can see, for example, each role have, um, have which um, duties So let me select, for example, um, a uh, security role, for example, chief financial officer. And I will search this role in the 365 finals. Still loading. OK. So now it's well charged. Let me search, for example, this role in finals. OK. Here it is. OK. So here I can see all the duties as they have in D365. So here I've really tried to make them uh, user-friendly. Um, I've tried to make the user experience similar to D365 uh, FinOps um, application. OK, let's go back to the home screen. The third option is uh, View Role Privilege Association. Yeah, this is another uh, table. in. Uh, in, in FinOps data connector. So this um, table can help us really to see uh, or to, to check um, all the security privilege related to uh, each security role in the system. So I can select, for example, the accounting manager security role, and here I can see all the privilege system with their EOT name um, um, as used in the system. So uh, you have just to check, uh, select um, a security role, and then um, you can see all the all the associated security privilege of this role. Okay, perfect. <coughs> um, another important fact here is view role security permissions. So this option I found is really very important in case if we are not uh, if we are not a system administrator. And this really can help us to see uh, or to check um, all the security uh, uh, permissions, security controls associated to um, associated to our roles, for example. And this is really can help us to uh, to check uh, which uh, type of controls we have uh, are associated to uh, to our security role. And I think it can be really helpful for a non-system administrator user um, who don't have access, for example, to say security diagnostic uh, option in, in, the, in, in, the, in the system. OK. Um, so now just me check another option is assign role to user. OK, let's, for example, make a quick demonstration. Um, let me select, for example, the security role collection agent. And here I can see all these user IDs that have already um, this uh, or use the same uh, selected user role. For example, uh, let me assign the collection agent security role um, to Alicia. No, Alicia have already this security role. Let me let me assign it to um, to David. Okay, David don't have it. Okay, let me go back to system users and search for David.
Okay. Here are all the security rules that David have. Now I want David also to be a collection agent. Let me see, you don't have a collection agent. Assign user to role. Operations exist. Now you don't have it. Let me actually refresh the, the page. Okay, now David have the collection agent role. Perfect. So uh, this is really, as I mentioned, can be very helpful for uh, in case uh, on the SOD um, uh, training with different users. For example, you can use it with, uh, with the users who don't have a system administrator uh, roles. So they can, we can, for example, develop a new Power Apps application and make it available in and integrated in FinOps as a workspace and after that they can um, they can uh, check uh, with them with themselves um, all the security roles assign it to, to uh, they can modify easily or assign um, the roles that, that they want to test okay perfect so um, um, this is the video for today I hope you like it so see you in the next video have a good time bye Thank you.